Hello, beautiful folks of the YouTube lands. <laughs> Michael here with Breath Tap. Hope everyone's having a fantastic morning. It's Friday, June 21st. You can see I'm in the shade here. I'm outside, got my bare feet on the ground, getting grounded, baby. And it's gonna be brutally hot today in the 90s. Uh, we're, we're into that summer weather, so I'm putting this video together. Got a busy day ahead of me. It's gonna get really hot out, so I'd rather make this now before the sun really gets peaking. And what we're gonna focus in on today is using some EFT, some tapping, to help cultivate our inner power. And what I mean by that is our inner power is the ability to become aware of the beliefs that hold us back because our interpretation of reality is gonna be dictated by the beliefs we have. If we feel that we're not good enough, if we're fearful, if we're in such a state of stress that we feel contracted and disempowered, then that's how we're gonna per perceive our reality from that perspective of fear. It's like looking through a lens that sees everything in a fearful state, a stressful state, a contracted, disempowered state, a state of limiting belief where you don't believe in yourself and you don't believe in the greater power that you may have in order to you know, harness the energy and create what you desire in life, right? And that's what it's all about is being able to harness your inner power cultivate more of that which you desire and start to align with it and take the inspired action that's going to take you to more of that which you desire so let's go ahead and start tapping with this again this is going to be very broad global type statements but what you want to keep aware of is the beliefs the limiting beliefs that you are going to start to identify and so you can get little peeks into that through tapping tapping helps flush out those limiting beliefs. So become aware of them. Things like I'm not good enough or a memory from childhood where somebody told you you won't be good enough or you'll never be good enough or don't trust anyone, right? Little sparks of insight can come up like that. It could be thoughts, memories, emotions. Take note of them, write them down and tap on it. This will help you get started. If you wanna get more specific, you could always work with a practitioner like myself. And we'll get very specific and try to flush it out, collapse it, create greatness, baby. All right, so let's just go into this and see what happens. And be present for yourself. Take note of what comes up. Create greatness. Here we go. Even though I have these beliefs deep within my physiology, that hold me back. I choose to love, honor, and accept myself right now. And even though I have these beliefs within my mind, the neurology of my brain, and they're very limiting beliefs that keep me stuck in a place I don't want to be. I choose to become aware of these beliefs and I choose to love, honor, and accept myself right now. And even though I may be held back by fear, uncertainty, doubt, disempowerment that keeps me contracted and stuck, I choose to acknowledge how I feel. I choose to flush out these limiting beliefs that keep me stuck. And I choose to love, honor, and accept myself right now. All right, let's tap through the points. All of these limiting beliefs, all of these limiting beliefs that keep me stuck, Stuck in life, stuck in fear, stuck in disempowering states of being. What are they? What are these beliefs that keep me stuck in a place I don't want to be? 
what is it that I believe to be true about myself right now? What is it that I believe? What are these beliefs that keep me stuck? Is it fear? Is it a memory or experience that I had in my past that's keeping me stuck, fearful, contracted, limited? Why don't I believe in myself? Why don't I believe in myself right now? And why do I believe that to be true? All these limiting beliefs. All of these limiting beliefs. Why am I stuck in a place I don't want to be? Why am I stuck? What is holding me back? What is it that holds me back right now? It's a belief. I know it's a belief. And I know these beliefs are not true. Do I feel limited, disempowered, and fearful? It's not true. It's not true. Do I feel uncertain and doubtful about my future? If I do, it's not true. All of these negative disempowering beliefs are simply not true. I've been led to believe they are true. I choose to recognize that now. I acknowledge the fact that my perception is my reality. The way I perceive reality is being filtered through my belief system. What is that belief system? What is it I believe to be true about myself? Am I not good enough? Am I not good enough for my dreams and desires? Am I not good enough to achieve my goals and objectives? If so, it's not true. Am I not worthy? Perhaps I've been punishing myself. Self-punishment. Maybe I believe I deserve to be punished. Perhaps I've done things I'm not proud of. And I believe I should be punished. Perpetually. Well, guess what? It's not true. It is not true. None of these limiting beliefs are true. What do I choose to believe about myself? What do I choose to believe about myself right now? And can I change these beliefs, these limiting, disempowering, false beliefs? Can I change them? Of course I can. I can change them by making a decision right now. I'm making a decision to release any and all disempowering, fearful, stressful, limiting beliefs that I picked up over the course of my life. I choose to release these from my physiology, my neurology, my mind, body, and spirit. I choose to release any and all limiting beliefs right now. I choose to instill powerful, empowering, amazing, Beliefs of greatness right now. 
in body, mind, heart, and spirit. So be it, it is true, baby. Let's take a nice deep breath. Let it go. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it, shake it. Um, so again, this was designed to be very general and broad, all of my statements and phrases. Over the course of that tapping, you should have been triggering or bringing to the surface some of those limiting beliefs. Now, the important part now is to take those beliefs, whatever came up for you, I'm not good enough, I'm, I don't have time, I'm too stressed, I'm too worried, I'm not credible enough, I'm not smart enough, whatever it might be, it could be anything, any sort of negative thought, feeling, emotion, memory that came up, take note of them, write them down, work through each and every one of them, use tapping, write down what you want to believe, what the opposite of those beliefs are. Meditate on it, visualize it, visualize the way you want to be. Act as if you are already there and start to create that life of greatness. EFT is a great tool to flush it out, to start to collapse it. You could use it as part of the process, but then start to actually embody that person you want to be. Visualize where you want to be, how you want to be, how you would act. Be there now, act as if, all right? So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. In the meantime, have yourself a great day. We'll see you.